Hi guys. So I have a few things to update you on. Um, I know that I have not been active on my YouTube for quite a while, um, at least a couple of weeks. Um, and as you know me very well, um, that is not like me. Um, <coughs> I usually upload videos very regularly um, and well, yeah, it, it, it kind of got to like at least once or twice a week that I was uploading. But um, yeah, haven't really been active for quite a while. So thought I would just do one big update on loads of stuff. Um, so I'm going to be updating you on how I am, what's been going on, where I've been. I'm going to be updating you on the pregnancy. Um, I'm guessing all of you that are watching this would know. Thanks, cat. Uh, thanks. Out the way. Come on. <sighs> okay. She's out the way now. Um, I'm guessing that most of you watching this would know by now that me and Ollie are expecting our first baby. Um, it is due on the 18th of January. And yeah, we're both over the moon as you've followed our TTC journey videos um, and journey on that. Um, we were trying for 13 months and on the 13th month we got pregnant. So yeah, if you haven't watched our announcement video on that um, slash everyone's reactions within my family, his family and some close friends. Um, no, I don't think, I don't think we actually had any friends, um, reactions in that. We just told them separately. Um, but it was just family members that we had, um, their reactions in that video. So if you haven't checked that out, then go check it out. Um, really cat? Really? Come on. Out the way. <laughs> and also, that's probably why Pikachu keeps on coming in the camera, because... There is a update on her as well, one of our cats. So, yeah, grab a cup of tea like I have and get comfortable and let's get chatting because there's quite a lot to get through. What? Are you laughing at me? No, you're not. What? No, I'm laughing at Pete, but you in the background. Grab a cup of tea and get comfortable. <laughs> well, yeah, because this is probably going to be a bit of a chatty rambly videos so if you don't like these sort of videos then just don't watch it <laughs> but if you just want to know how we are doing how i'm doing and how everything else is doing then stick around and carry on watching so first of all i hope you are all doing well also because i haven't been very active on my youtube i haven't really been on youtube at all really not to watch any other people's YouTube videos either. Maybe the odd one here and there, but I'm honestly so behind on your guys' videos, sorry. I've got like a bit of indigestion. Um, but yeah, I'm so behind on watching some of your guys' videos, so bear with me, I will catch up at some point. Um, so let's talk about where I've been and how I am. Myself, I am okay. Ollie's okay. Um, where I've been is just because I've just been so, so busy. Um, and one of the main reasons why I kind of went off YouTube for a while was because, as you know, in one of my other update videos quite a while ago, a couple of months ago now, um, you would have heard from me that my nan was very poorly in hospital um, and unfortunately she did actually pass away um, at the beginning of July um, so yeah obviously it was it was a hard time for me and my family um, so I kind of wanted a bit of space um, you know from sort of YouTube and everything like that um, just to sort of gather myself together and yeah just wanted some time um about that so yeah her funeral her funeral even is actually coming up it's actually in a couple of days time um so yeah obviously 
um, will be having that. Um, and, you know, all of the family will be there and just supporting each other and being there at that, that sad time. Um, so, yeah, that is that. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. Um, okay, so that is one of the main reasons why I haven't been very active. Um, but also, I've just... What are you doing, cat? Just walking over everything. Sorry, I've got a bit of a runny nose. Do I do apologise for that. Um, but also, one of the other reasons is just because I've been so bloody busy. Can you stop? As soon as I come and sit down and try and film a video... Banjo, our oh, male cat is just over there to the right of me. Pikachu is right in front of the camera. Can you move, please? Ugh. Okay, right. We are clear from the cats. Um, yeah. Can you just come check that this is still filming? <laughs> I don't want to be sat here talking for ages and it's like not even filming. It's still filming. Yeah, okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um so yeah what is the next update that i need to update you guys on oh so good mm. we currently got rain at the moment where we live <laughs> um literally just started raining so i thought why not have a cup of tea i don't know i think cup of tea is always nice to have when it's like rainy outside is that just me but, um, yeah, one of the other updates um, is basically about almost two weeks ago now, um, Ollie's parents were going away um, on a holiday and um, we were going over to theirs to, you know, house sit as such um, and look after the dogs for them. Um, and the day that we were meant to be going over there, we were hoovering up, you know, making sure it was all tidy and that because, you know, I had one of my family members come here to obviously look after our cats um, and the house set. Um, and we were hoovering up, making sure it was all clean and tidy. And then Ollie came across a, what he thought was a big cat claw that had fully come out of one of the cats on the floor but however it was not a big cat claw it was actually one of their whole tooths that came out um and we were like well we've got three cats so now we need to figure out which one of those has got a missing tooth um so we went around looked at them and it was pikachu she um you know obviously had some blood so we could tell that it was her and she didn't want to eat any of the treats just before we were going. Um, so basically, we we're like, what the hell? What do we, you know, what do we do? So we rang up the vets and they obviously said to bring her in. Um, and they have no idea why, you know, it could have come out. They didn't say that it was gum disease or anything like that, which is obviously good. Um, they said that it could have just simply been that she had a bit of a dodgy tooth, um, you know, a bit of an infection in it, you know, as some people might say, um, just like we do, humans do, we, you know, we have dodgy teeth and then we have to either get fillings or, you know, get them taken out at the dentist, um, so she had a dodgy tooth, um, and it fell out, it obviously just got too bad and then ended up, you know, falling out, so... <laughs> Yeah, took her to the vets and they basically prescribed her some antibiotics um, to have for a week and um, gave, gave her some pain relief as well. So she's had all of that and now she seems absolutely fine. Um, she's still eating okay um, and she just, she just seems fine within herself um, and they only said to go back. If you've got any concerns, you know, look out for certain symptoms if she's not eating or, you know, she doesn't seem herself or just stuff like that. So, but she seems absolutely fine now. So, 
yeah, it was, just, it was just typical that it happened on the day that we were meant to be leaving to go there. All in all, everything was fine. Um, um, and she had all of her antibiotics and her pain relief and she seems fine now. So yeah, that was, that was a bit of a dramatic week um, because of all that. Um, so yeah, moving on to another update. Um, on things let's talk about the pregnancy so now I am currently 17 weeks and two days pregnant I know crazy how fast it's gone already um, and I'm doing okay I feel okay I, I feel great to be honest um, and as far as we know the baby is okay um, I've had obviously um, I had my first scan, which was, you know, at 12 weeks, that was all okay. Um, and I've had a few other appointments as well in between then, um, with my midwife and consultants and things like that because of obviously my condition, which is another thing I will have to update you on and get into that after this update. Um... And yeah, that, that there's not really much to update on, to be honest, about my pregnancy, apart from that I'm just over 17 weeks. Um, I actually had a midwife appointment today, in fact, um, and that all went okay. You know, they did blood pressure um, and they actually um, did the thing where you can hear the baby's heartbeat and that was all okay. We Well, it was very difficult at first. <laughs> Um, the baby was being a bit of a pain, um, sort of hiding away and being difficult for us and the midwife to be able to get the heartbeat. But eventually, um, it came along and, you know, it was good for us. So, um, yeah, we got the heartbeat, um, and we did actually film it. So I don't know if at some point I will show it on here or not. If I don't, then I don't, but if I do, then look out for that. Um, but. I don't know, it was just such a special moment, like, to think that that baby, with that heartbeat is inside of my tummy, that's just crazy, it really is, um, but it was lovely, it was lovely to hear, um, and yeah, she said that the heartbeat rate was normal, and you know, that there was no concerns or anything, so that's good, <sighs> Bunjo, get out the way, out the way, go to daddy, go to dadas. Um, so I suppose the only other pregnancy update is um, we've got our 20 week scan in, well at the beginning of September, around then, so that will be um, obviously to check up on the baby and make sure that, you know, the baby's okay and everything. Um, and also to, you know, they can reveal the, the gender of the baby to us, um, which at very, very first, before we, you know, were pregnant, um, we've always, always said, no, we're not finding out the gender, we want a complete surprise for when it's born. But, mm, no, we've kind of changed our minds. <laughs> And we're too excited to not find out the gender. Plus, it just makes a lot of things easier. Because then we can get specific themed colours. And just, I don't know. Just knowing that, you know, this is either our baby girl or our baby boy. And then we can probably, properly think of a name as well. Because we will know that specific gender. We'll know the specific gender of the baby. So it'll just make it a lot easier. Um, so yeah, we will probably be finding, most likely, probably about 95%, we'll be finding out the gender. Um, and we are planning on doing a gender reveal party, which we've already planned, so yeah, we will pretty much be finding out the gender. <laughs> it's kind of not 95%, it's kind of 100%, because we've already planned um, a gender reveal party in advance for family and some close friends um so that'll be happening around you know the beginning of september as well after the scan so yeah it's all very exciting and we can't wait to find out 
Um, but what do you guys think? Do you reckon we will be having a boy or a girl? Um, everyone's sort of like mixed opinions. Some people say boy, some people say girl. I'm kind of, what? Oh, no, just this. no, I know that, but like, I just meant as in like, a lot of family members might have said the same gender, you know? So on, I'm trying to say as in like, a lot of our family members have different opinions on what they think it is. Like, you know, it's not like one-sided. Ollie's always said that he thinks it's a boy. And are you still thinking it's a boy? I don't know. Yeah, because of how awkward he's been. <laughs> he even likes, you know, refers to the baby as he. So you're going to have a massive shock if it turns out to be a girl. <laughs> but the main thing is that we will love it and care for it no matter what the gender is. You know, as long as it's healthy, then that's all that matters. Um, but like I said, I, I'm kind of, can you not stay there? Thank you. <laughs> she started walking towards me. It's Pikachu, by the way. She started, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> she started walking towards me and I like kind of put my hand like that. I was like, no, can you not? And then she like turned around and was like, okay then. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm kind of undecided. I was very, very undecided at first, you know, in the in the early weeks. Did not have a clue. And then I was more for a boy. I had a strong, strong feeling it was gonna be a boy. And then I kind of went on to the girl side and felt very strongly that it was gonna be a girl. But now, I'm back to being unsure. So, I don't know. I really don't know. <sighs> okay. So that's that. So keep your eyes pulled for that because like I said, we're gonna be doing a gender reveal party and it will most likely be filmed. So there'll most likely be a video of it. So keep your eyes peeled for that around you know, beginning to mid-September. Um, okay, so what other updates is there? Okay, like I said, I was going to talk about my condition. Okay, so this is very conf confusing. And I'm still confused and still as shocked as when I found out. But basically, as you guys know, I have slash had a condition, illness, disability, whatever you want to call it, called hydrocephalus. And I had it since I was 18. Um, and therefore, I had a VP shunt put into my head and then obviously down into my bladder um, to treat it. Um, however... When it came to me seeing my neurologist to, just to sort of, you know, run it through him that everything is going to be okay throughout the pregnancy and, you know, just run it by him basically and ask if there should, you know, if he thinks there'll be any complications, etc, etc. He actually told me slash us that... I've never had hydrocephalus. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. You're probably thinking, what? Basically, we think what has happened is one of the doctors, you, you know, like a normal GP, he's a neurologist, but a normal GP had just sort of thought, oh, you know, extra fluid in the brain, that's hydrocephalus. <laughs> got a shunt that's hydrocephalus and writ that down on the medical notes and then that's what I've been led to believe these past however many years five six seven years um but no that's not the case um I actually my condition is actually called idiopathic intracranial hypertension um it's very, very similar 
to hydrocephalus, like very, very similar. I think the only, basically, it's very similar, like, you know, extra fluid on the brain, pressure in the head and all that, which is what I had at the time. <laughs> and because my pressure was very, very high, they had to put in a shunt to get that pressure down immediately and, you know, treat, treat it as soon as they could. So that's why they put the shunt in my head. Um, but he's basically said that I have this other condition that I just said, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, tongue twister, I know. Um, and I'm basically no longer shunt dependent. So I don't, I don't really have a need for my shunt. To be honest um but and i was like oh okay then well then you know it can be taken out like you know you can take it out right and they said well it would actually be more risky and there'll be a high risk if we try to take it out i don't know exactly why i don't i don't remember asking him why because i think i was just really shocked at the time and confused so <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah uh, so I've got to keep my shunt in, but basically there's not really a need for it. It's not doing anything to the fluid or anything at the moment, but I think he said if there is a build-up of fluid, I don't know, in however many years' time, then it will, like, automatically, like, do what it needs to do to release that pressure and release the extra fluid again. So I'm guessing that's why maybe they don't take it out, just in case, um, you know, I get the extra fluid and pressure again. So I'm guessing that's why they they advise and, you know, keep, keep them in. Um, but at the moment, I could have the same pressure as, you know, the average person, my golly, or whoever. I could have the same pressure in my head as anyone else <laughs> that, you know, doesn't have high pressure. Um, so yeah, that's all very, very confusing. So basically he's, the main reason we wanted to go there is obviously to ask if he thinks there would be any complications because obviously I thought I had hydrocephalus and all that and I was worried about the shunt and the pressure and all that and, you know. Um, but he said, obviously he told me that I didn't have that, went all through that and he said that there should actually be no complications at all with the pregnancy or even giving birth. Um, so that like really made my day that was such a big deal to me because that was the one thing I was so, so scared and anxious about, um, is not being able to have a normal pregnancy and being able to try and give birth naturally, because that is what I want to do. I want to try my best to give birth naturally. You know, I want to be, you know, I, I just want to do that, you know? It's something that I want to achieve. So, yeah, that it means a lot to me that, you know, nothing should go wrong. The only complication as such that, you know, they're not worried, about, they're not concerned about as such, but obviously they need to keep a close, bit of a closer eye on me and maybe have a few more appointments and stuff is because I have a high BMI. Because I'm overweight. <laughs> um, so that's the only thing, basically. But, um, you know, everything's fine so far. <coughs> um, so, yeah, that is that. I'm um, trying to think if we have any other updates. Can you think of anything else? No, can't say I can. Within these last, I don't know, however long? Two, three, four weeks? <laughs> can't think of anything else to update you guys on um i really don't know um i don't think there is yeah i think i've gone over everything um but yeah i am okay though i am still here still alive still same old eliza um <laughs> i am still here i've just you know if you, if you 
see that I haven't been active on YouTube or uploaded for quite a while, it's just because I've been so busy. Um, but obviously this will be up and I hope you guys are still here. I hope you guys have stuck around, still supporting my channel. Um, um, and uh, yeah, still give me your support on everything. So hopefully I will be back soon for another video. I'm not sure what it will be. Um, could be something to do with the pregnancy, could be a grocery haul, could be a vlog, who knows. Um, but there's a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, like I said, our gender reveal um, and finding out the gender of our baby. We also have a holiday coming up. Me and Ollie are going away with his, hit some of his family. We're going to Spain again, um, which uh, that, you know, would be lovely. Will be lovely. Um, and yeah, so lots of exciting things happening. Um, but I hope you guys are all well. Um, I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely week. Uh, <sighs> indigestion again, sorry guys. <laughs> but yeah, I will talk to you guys hopefully very soon. Keep well, keep safe, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Bye.